getting Linux Mint to sync time with an internet time server. Now my clocks have been drifting all over the place and I've been looking at this for, oh, for a few weeks now really and I've just sort of narrowed it down the last couple of days and I'm pretty confident I've got a, a reasonable solution to it. Perhaps even the actual reason why it is what it is. So let's have a look. This is time.is. You can see my clock's five minutes fast. So it's 9.01. And you can see my clock down the bottom is saying 9.07. We'll just refresh that page again. So we're still five minutes ahead. I'll bring up the terminal. And if we type this command time date CTL. We can see here, system clock synchronized is no, NTP service is not available. And the bottom one there doesn't really concern us today, so we're not going to get into that. Let's bring up the software manager. If we type NTP, we can see that that's installed. There it is there. It's got the little check mark. There's another file that concerns us, which is systemd-timesyncd, and we can see that that's not installed. So we'll go back. We want NTP. We're going to click on it and uninstall it. Now, depending what version of Linux Mint you're on, extra options might pop up there or a little dialogue saying we're going to remove this and install that. In some cases it will actually install the uh, the file we're about to install after this one gets removed. So that's gone. And if we bring up this again, if we run the command, there's no change. There's no change. So now we'll go back over to System D dash time sync D, and we're going to install this one. Click on install. So you can see I'm on 21.2 here. If you've done a fresh install of 21.3, I think I mentioned before, you should be okay. Uh, pretty much regardless whether it's Cinnamon, Matei or XFCE. So it's just going to depend on your version. But these two files, removing NTP and installing this systemd-timesyncd seems to be what gets the job working. Let's bring the terminal back up and let's put our command back in again. And now we can see our system clock is synchronised and NTP is active and that's what we're looking for and I'm pretty sure if we bring the time up now we can see that it's exact and that's it it's as simple as that that's all you need to do